It's the Daily Comedy News with your host, Mark Pyers. Join us for breaking headlines and all kinds of comedy shenanigans. Brought to you by The Beat Seat. So welcome to the show. If you are joining me for the first time, what we do is scroll through the news together and we see if there's any stories worth checking out. We don't have a lot of time today, so I did find a couple we'll get into, but Northeast braces for heavy snow. The South drenched by storms. I'm in the Northeast. What's coming, guys? You guys know? I was gonna do a news report from the storm, do a storm tracker vibe. We may still do that, I don't know. Thank you for tuning in. And we're just gonna quickly scroll through, see what we could find here. Yeah, 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 Usher can flex his Super Bowl comeback, but it was really the Taylor Swift show. Was it? I See, I can't stand this stuff. The guy went out there, put on a good show. I don't think he should have taken his shirt off. I think that was mental, like, okay, like, but like this whole thing that making it about Taylor? Well, Here's one thing we learned during the Super Bowl. Taylor Swift knows how to slam a beer like a champ. Her boyfriend, Travis Kelsey's Kansas City Chiefs were losing at the time, so she probably needed it. Gosh almighty, guys. Look, she's chugging it. Yeah, good for you, she won. She made sure she collected. Taylor doesn't give freebies, you know? You owe me five bucks. We had a competition. Drinking it down. She's chugging it down. I don't know if you saw that. Look, guys. Look, ready? Done! Give me my five bucks! Oh, goodness. Guys, but Usher was having a good time. You know? He had that outfit on. You know, sometimes when Ludacris shows up and he's got the finger in the electrical socket and you're trying to figure out, how do I do that hair? How do I get that hairdo? Just stick your finger in the electrical socket! Einstein was the first one to figure that one out. <laughs> and he was like, why is he so smart? Electrical charge, directly into the current. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna charge my phone. Einstein charged his brain. You know, guys, I'm sorry when I have to hit you with the knowledge. T. Rose, right? <sighs> Sometimes you're dancing. Lil John comes out of nowhere. Okay! And you're like, I'm into it. I'll go and dance to Lil John. Okay! Got gold teeth. Your gold teeth in it. While it's the dance, you know. Da, 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 da. Okay! You're like, I gotta give him millions of dollars for saying okay. He's awesome. What an act over there. He looks like he's gonna eat an animal, like, raw. <laughs> the stupid gold teeth, right? Okay! Lil John, would you like, uh, you know, like a aardvark that's just running by in my backyard? I'll just give it to you, you can eat it. Okay! <laughs> You're into it? You know, you'd expect Lil John, his success, he wouldn't be into eating aardvarks. Whole, you know, one bite. Do you need any ketchup for that? Oh, yay! Oh, goodness, little John. You bring us joy for years. Uh, and then, remember, Usher took off his shirt, and the ladies went, wow. Some guys did, too. 2024. Don't, you know, remember. Here we go. Taylor Swift chugs her beer. They made a whole story about it, guys, in the New York Post. That's a big one. They're like, you know what? What do we want to do our news about, you know, from the Super Bowl? Let's do it about how Taylor Swift can drink a beer and she can chug it down. And Danny Masterson in the commercial right before. This is Danny Masterson 15 years. They got him out of prison early. And now he's looking at the house that he really wants to buy, but he's got some issues. He's got to knock on that door first. Yeah, <laughs> you know? Excuse me. Just moved into the neighborhood. Just wanted to tell you about myself real quick. You know, Rocket Mortgage did it as well, guys. So look, remember, chugging it down. <laughs> I beat you. I'm going to write a song about it. Okay, they're double decorating it. Yeah. That's so impressive. Guys, full stories. See how Taylor Swift reacted 
when Travis Kelsey and the Chiefs won the Super Bowl. Guys, I wonder if she was excited. I wonder if she went, oh, oh my God, love. Oh my God, love. And then she went and banged it out. You know, that's, that's what her, that's the job. That is the job of the wife or spouse or, you know, significant other or bangaroo partner of a professional athlete after you win the Super Bowl. You know, some people are like, mm, I have a headache. You don't have a headache, Travis Kelsey's significant other after your Super Bowl win. You know, you're, I don't care if you're a number one selling artist. I sold out all my tours. You're banging it out tonight. You know, that's your job. <laughs> Step up for the Kelsey, you know. <sighs> you know, slice of Kelsey, some people say. It's like a freaking mountain. But that's her thing. She's into it, guys. You know, and she's got to be. The, the night of the Super Bowl win, you better crack that champagne. Even if it's so you forget about the night. Because you were, didn't want it. You had a headache. <laughs> you drink the champagne. <laughs> Trashed. The next day you could be like, oh, 1989, or whatever the heck that song is. You know? You could sing a 2024. Super Bowl, I was there, I was chugging beer. I was at the Super Bowl chugging beer. I won that B, had to give me five bucks. Or I elbow her. And I told her, I'll throw you my elbow. But guys, that's what happened. They're doing all these stories on Taylor Swift. What are we talking about here? Where's the stories on the actual football game? We don't know who won the football game. We were watching Taylor Swift chug beer. The guy over here is jumping out of his chair with the Gucci sweatshirt on. He's getting, he's excited. He's got, I think those are Gucci pants as well. He's Gucci pants in it with a Gucci sweatshirt. And I'm here, you know, watching them chug beer. What happened to her pants? Taylor, what happened over here? You missed this part. Your, your legs are trying to watch the game as well, maybe. I'm not really sure what this is. Fashion statement or you have eyes in your legs I think you have eyes in your in your thighs. Eyes in your thighs. It's a new song title for Taylor Swift. I've got eyes in my thighs, and you better know why. A Travis Kelsey won the game. I banged him all night. Right? That's what happened, to Taylor. She's got a debt, guys. Literally, she's got a debt. It's the night of the Super Bowl win. <laughs> Big burly Travis Kelsey. He comes off the field. You know the first thing he said to her, you know we're banging it out tonight. <laughs> I got a headache. I don't give a freaking headache, pop star. You shouldn't have drank so much of that beer, chugging it down during the game, trying to win five bucks. You need five bucks from the dummy next to you? Just has one hit and like the last, she's up there with Taylor Swift. My son was like, how is she there? She just like has one song. I was like, this is the world we live in today. No talent, one person. Oh, man, it's so good, eh? one song in the marketplace. 209 songs, never heard of the guy. But look, Taylor, she's, she's doing it this morning. Again, as you wake up in the morning, you get the same experience. You know, congratulations. Look, she's getting ready, you see? That's the position. <laughs> oh! What's that, Joanne? Yes, Joanne! Wait. Yep, Wait. Joanne! Stop wheezing! Oh my goodness. <laughs> you know, I mean, Joanne! Wait. Squeezing one out, you know. DM Ryan, how are you, my friend? It's so good to see you. Yes, yeah, she's, she's getting ready. She's just doing it. Sometimes you, you, they say stretch. They say to stretch before you go at it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just, you know, sometimes when you're in the process and they give you the comedy, they just put it right there for you. Uh, just so we're clear, I'm here for the Travis and Taylor show. This lady here, she's got a cowboy's outfit on and you wonder who, she's, who she wants to see win, right? I came to see the cowboys win. The cowboys sucked this year. Lady, you're at the Super Bowl wearing a cowboy outfit. I can't wait to see Taylor. Yeah, we know, dummy. You came with a Cowboys outfit to a Chiefs 49ers game. I'm excited to see the Super Bowl, to see the super couple. 
I want to see the super couple. Ooh, I, I wish someone share this. This is a silly, funny feed today. Every day. Every day it's silly, funny here. We do it. We always do it here. We're trying to see if we can lift you up with some comedy. I, that's why I say it's the satire news, guys. We're not here trying to say that you're going to get the news. But when you see this dummy with her cowboy shirt on saying, I'm here to see Taylor and Travis, like, you didn't need to bring the sign. You just, you brought your sign with your stupid shirt. You should have just walked in. Guys, look, I'm here to see Travis and Taylor. Yeah, we know. Cowboys. Yeah, they're not in this one. <laughs> you, but you're, you're here supporting your team. Your team. Oh, here we go, guys. There's the kiss. And their comment came just before. She had gone to great lengths to be there at the Super Bowl to support Kelsey as Swift traveled to Los Angeles from Tokyo, where she had been performing her Eras tour. Her next tour date is on the 16th of February. This is obviously an English rag, where she will perform on the other side of the world in Australia, Australia, with Br Bradley Smith is going because Travis Kelsey's going. He wants to just hang out with Travis. Look at that. And then it's his job after the show to be there for her. You know, I'm sorry, uh, Taylor, I got a headache tonight. You shut your freaking mouth. I just rocked out in front of Australia. All of it. All of Australia. You get in that freaking bed and shut your hole. Not the other hole. You know how I roll. I'm just saying, but like, when you, when I come back from tearing it up, 1989 or whatever, you know, and when I come back to the room and you're here, I expect you to shut the mouth and you do what I say, okay? Dominatrix style time, you know, because I just did it. It's a, it's a, you have to work with each other, I'd say. Look, let's see. Look, look at me, I'm just so excited for later. See, look, she's like, look at, uh, yep. Oh, she's smitten. Look at that. I gotta say, I'm, I'm happy for her. I mean, look at that. She's, look, I'm so, I can't wait to put my hands through your stupid beard. What kind of beard, right? I love that beard. You know, I gotta say, let's get back. We have to get one more view of the pounding the beer. Guys, I'm going to do it. Is that Haley Bieber next to her? Is that Haley Bieber? I don't know who the hell that is. I'll tell you what, the video's not working. Um, and then what's this? Let's see, one more video. No history. Yeah. They know legacy, and there's more they want to achieve. You could hear that. Good for her. Again, the weird pants. I, do, I still don't know if, there's, if she has eyes in her thighs. Some people say they have extra, you know, cottage cheese in the thighs but she's got eyes in her thighs she's looking out double decker style she's got and then she's got two more while she's watching the game four eyes watching she just wants to make sure she gets it all doesn't want to miss a moment while she's drinking that beer her leg eyes her thigh eyes are able to keep an eye on everything so to speak i don't miss you know a, a droplet of sweat from travis when he makes a little catch up the middle and I'm chugging a beer, you know, she is relevant again. <laughs> DM says, you know, I think that she's um, a, a real talent. I think that people have to stop giving her a hard time. I think it's interesting how they've made football about her instead of about the football. Like, who, who gives a crap? Do you know how many other celebrities were there yesterday and no one gave a crap? It's so funny to me. Like, they had, do you know who was sitting right next to, I want to say, Jay-Z, it was Jay-Z and Beyonce. And right next to him was uh, the guy who used to own Twitter, Jack Dorsey. I'm like, do you know how many celebrities were at the game yesterday? And they, they went bonkers because Taylor Swift is there. And it's like, she's a talent, but what the hell? Like, I make it about the football. No one cares that Taylor Swift is there supporting her boyfriend. It's like you had every celebrity under the sun at that football game. It's Vegas. It's right by Los Angeles. <laughs> And they're like, every five seconds you're looking at Taylor, every single article is about Taylor. It's like, I don't know, not about the repeat. Did we see it? Let's just quickly scroll because I only have a few minutes here. Thank you for watching. Please hit the like on the way out the door. Leave a comment and share. I'm live at 9 a.m. and after 9 p.m. So join us. This is the Mark Inspire Show.